The goal of this video is to explain the basic concepts of laser interferometry and its application to examining the cleaved end of a fiber optic. The presentation will be broken down into three parts. First, I will discuss the concept of light interference and show various demonstrations of these ideas. Next, I will describe the modifications to the basic Michelson interferometer to construct the fiber microinterferometer. Finally, I will show the resulting design of the interferometer and view the end of a fiber optic. The classic two-slit experiment is a simple way to observe the interference effects of light. The experiment consists of a single coherent light source shining through two slits onto a screen. A regular pattern of light and dark bands is observed on the screen. These bands are due to constructive and destructive interference caused by phase differences in the light from the slits. As you can see here, the light from the two slits is 180 degrees out of phase, resulting in destructive interference. At a different point, the light is in phase, giving constructive interference. The phase changes are a result of the different distances the light travels from each slit to a certain point on the screen. The next interference effect I will discuss is thin film interference. When light shines on the film, it experiences a 180 degree phase change as it reflects off the front surface. As the light continues, its phase is changed due to the index of refraction of the medium. It then reflects off the other interface and continues back through the medium to interfere with the first ray. If the thickness T varies across the film, so does the amount of phase shift of the light within the medium. This variation in phase shift results in the colored bands that you see in bubbles, for example. Another example of thin film interference is known as Newton's rings. In this experiment, a plano convex lens is placed on top of a flat plate of glass. When viewed from above, a bullseye pattern of light and dark rings is seen. This pattern is explained by interference in the thin film of air between the two pieces of glass. Once again, the interference is due to the phase change caused by a path length difference and the refractive properties of the glass. The Michelson interferometer is a device that uses interference to make measurements of distances. The device consists of a laser, a beam splitter, and two mirrors. The beam splitter splits the laser into two beams of equal intensity, each of which reflects off of a separate mirror. The light then passes back through the beam splitter where it is recombined to produce an interference pattern. As one mirror is moved, successive rings of light and dark appear. Each change from dark to light indicates a translation of the mirror a distance equal to the wavelength of the laser divided by four. This is how very accurate measurement of distances are made. The design of the fiber microinterferometer is a result of a simple modification of the standard Michelson interferometer. By replacing one mirror with the end of a fiber optic and viewing through the microscope, one can observe the interference pattern from the cleaved surface of the fiber. This idea evolved into the design that you see here. Here again, you see the components of the Michelson interferometer.
Focusing on the image of the fiber in the reflection off the beam splitter, an end-on view of the fiber is easily seen. Finally, viewing the fiber with the laser shining on it, the interference pattern is readily apparent. To recap, I explained the basic concepts of interferometry and how to apply them to viewing the surface of a cleaved fiber end. A good cleave is important to obtain high transmittance between coupled fibers. The fiber microinterferometer provides an easy way to determine the quality of the cleaved fiber optic.